This equation has many solutions. Specifically, we're looking for the positive integer ones so we can find x plus y. And this actually feels like a factor by grouping problem you might see in an algebra class. Let's try to do that by factoring out an x. The issue is there's no way to group this to continue factoring. It's like we're missing a y plus 1 where there's just a y. So let's put plus 1 on both sides. Now we can factor y plus 1 out from both terms, and we have a product equaling 99. And so we should think to ourselves, what are the factors of 99 that this product would be made up of? Remember, we're only going for positive integers here, and there's only so many positive ways to factor 99 into whole numbers. Thus, our product, which is x plus 1 times y plus 1, could equal to 1 times 99, 3 times 33, or 9 times 11. All of those would equal 99, giving us a few linear equations which aren't too bad to solve just by subtracting 1. Be careful here, we were restricting ourselves to just positive integers, so let's get rid of 0 here. That will eliminate this solution set, and we'll have two possible solution sets. Now, it's entirely possible that x could have been what y is and vice versa, since we were only interested in x plus y, it doesn't really matter, we basically have a without loss of generality here. The thing is, this brute force case-by-case -case solution won't work every single time. What if you get a problem like this? The techniques we just used won't help you, but watching this next video will. I'll see you in that one.